Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit sit hub in area nine and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Reminder, 
that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe, work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're laden up as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber. Just a minute, Gordon. I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. What are you doing still running around up here? Hey! It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? The horoscope was correct. Did someone pull the fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh. Murtaugh, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be 
the last accident you have today. Understood? I copy. Damn, Gordon. Later, Gordon. Lieutenant Rose, please report to Hydro Dam Bucket Office. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. I'm rather looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? Ah, nope. Gordon Freeman. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red calamity, I'm not interested. Can't you see I'm busy? Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Act your age, Gordon! Uh, hold... just... hold on for one... moment. At least try to maintain decorum, Freeman. Please. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Big day today, eh, Security Freeman? Officer, Sisk reports medical emergency in... Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Just a minute, Gordon. Good morning, Gordon. They need you in the test chamber. Give me some space, Freeman. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication. I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsocks are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm-hmm. I thought not. Gordon, I'm busy. Why aren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Maxwell's demon. It's cold in here. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. I'm rather busy now. Hello, Dr. Cross. I'm not one for idle chatter, Gordon. We can talk later, Gordon. When was your last year analysis, Freeman? They don't just give any old riffraff off the street the honor of wearing that lab coat, Gordon. Control yourself, Gordon. Morning, champ. Hello. They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. I trust this morning finds you well. Hope you're in top form this morning, Gordon. Can this wait till I'm off break? Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. 
Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Good heavens! What the hell? You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like diarrhea and run. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? And these ludicrous penny loafers? I've got this under control, Gordon. We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. There was someone downstairs asking about you. forgot to carry the two. Or was it or upstairs? Or was it the three? Yes. Soon we'll drive our enemies before us. And you lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Looking slick, Freemeister. Hot sun really brings out your eyes. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Gordon? There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. How curious. The Acousto-Optic Modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency.
What's up, Doc? Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. We can talk later, Gordon. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Go bother someone else, Gordon. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll be called on the carpet in no time if you keep this up. Has anyone actually Greetings. Even seen your degree, Freeman? If another instrument malfunctions today, Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Give me some space for them. Grad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Make haste, man. They're waiting for you down in the test chamber. I can't be bothered right now. Can this wait? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel- Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yes, 
Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion. Whoa! Oh, get away from the space! Oh, oh my god. Shut it down! Shutting down! Someone get him out of there! Shut, shut it down! It's not... It's not shutting down! Oh, god. No! surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is there. Uh. My god, what have we done? Master, would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. Believe me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? 